Just break the roof down. Let's do it. Hey, what's this? Hey, I found something in the roof. Is Poopy Tim gonna be riding the plane? Come on, Poopy Tim. Please, Poopy Tim, riding the plane. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going, champs? We're playing Teardown. This map is called Spaceship Crash. Oh my god. Wow. That thing, it just crashes immediately. They don't even give you a chance to actually walk around the spaceship and enjoy it before it just plunches. Plunches is a word. It's it's a combination of punch and plunge. It just plunges right into the ground. That's insane. There's even a computer monitor here. I didn't even get to use my computer before it smashed. Okay, okay, this is, oh, this is a bit better. Right now I can see something. Oh God, oh God, oh God. What? Why? Okay, I beat it. I managed to beat it. What I've done is I've stopped time and now I can actually watch the spaceship crash. Let's have a look at this thing. Can we get outside? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're outside now. Okay, we need to fly around. Whoa. Whoa, look at this spaceship. This thing is huge. You know what it kind of reminds me of? A Pop-Tart. A big metal white Pop-Tart. Let's go down here. We're gonna go down into the forest where the plane, plane, where the spaceship is gonna crash. Oh, it's coming down. What is that thing for? There's like a pyramid in the sky. Oh, dude. I think it was to make it so that it would like hit it and then drop its nose into the ground. Oh, dude. This is one fancy looking map. Look at that. Look at those reflections. RTX is definitely on. Look at those reflections. It's blue. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So this map is called Streets of Shibuya. I don't know if that's a real place, if Shibuya is a real place. It feels like it might be somewhere in Japan or something like that. I, I have no idea. It needs, like, you know, a big monster to destroy it or something like that. Big giant poopy Tim would come in here. Oh god, I need a torch. Are there ghosts up in here? The Grudge? The girl from the ring? We also have the World Eater. <laughs> yes, there we go. The World Eater, it's just in Japan. Just eating the Japan. Here it goes, oh, there goes the, the traffic light. It's munching down on it. It is munching on it, good. The World Eater is one of the best weapons for destroying stuff. Here we go. Oh, 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 whoa! That's cool. You can see the full on circle that it just like took out of the building. It feels like Cyberpunk 1998. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But there's nothing to do. <laughs> you kind of like just walk around and destroy a few things. I guess you could just destroy buildings and stuff if you want to. That's what you can do. Probably get the tornado gun. Oh yeah, just destroy some stuff with a tornado. We could burn some buildings down. Oh yeah, let's get a bit of a fire happening. Get sucked into a tornado. Shoot the flames in the tornado. Now you have fire tornado. Oh god, I just got chucked into a building. Okay, let's just destroy some stuff. There we go. We use the handgun. Take that geisha lady. Oh, right in the face. Okay, now this is fun. Now I've got something to do. <laughs> the handgun is great in the alternate fire mode. Okay, just like the big kaboom. Yeah, that's really good. And then we'll destroy it all with black holes. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at it all get picked up. It looked like it was about to start building the, the building back together again. You know what I mean? Like fixing it. Oh, it's like a weird floaty mess. It's actually really hard to see. Oh, there we go. I just put my torch on it. I've got two black holes, one there and one there. I'm going to put a tornado right in the middle of it. Oh, not me. Now, you guys might remember on the last video, there was this plane crash dynamics map where we managed to crash a plane into a house, but also we stuck a poopy Tim in there and we crashed a plane into poopy Tim. It was really good. Let's go ahead and do it again. We're also, because uh, I did get some comments of, co whoa, whoa, I missed it. I straight up missed it. I got a lot of requests. People wanted me to try crashing the plane into different things and like, hey Finn, Put the plane in a different map and do this to the plane. Turn the plane into a giant fist? What? 
<laughs> That's insane. Here it goes. Oh, God. It took his face. Look at the plane. The plane is actually flipping. Okay, that was pretty amazing. That was good. That was good. One of the comments I got, though, was try smashing the plane into the big giant head. So I think we should try and do that. Let's get rid of Poopy Tim. Let's get rid of him. Maybe not get rid of him. Maybe just put him on the side there a little bit. We're going to keep hold of him for a minute. Oh, that is one big head. I think I might have to bring it down into the ground a little bit. That little circle thing there is where I'm going to spawn. That way I spawn right next to this giant head. By the way, this editor is super easy to use. So if you, you know, if you wanted to make your own levels and things like that, grab teardown. It's super, you know, super simple. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, we're playing the map. He's got a tree in his mouth. He likes his broccoli. All right, here we go. Get this tree out of the way. Stupid tree. I need to be able to see the plane. There we go. Oh, God, I'm in a tree. I'm in a tree. Where is the plane? Here comes the plane. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Yes, that was good. Did it go out the back? I think it might have done. Wow. That is a plane-shaped hole in the back. You know what? We need to actually see it from the back view. Here comes the plane. Oh, it's coming out the... Oh, God. Oh, that was awesome. Take that giant poopy Tim head. Yeah, look at that. Right between the eyes. It was a perfect shot. That was incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on the plane. I'm on the... Oh, God, we're crashing already. What? Oh, we crashed. Why? I wonder if I could somehow get Poopy Tim riding the plane. I wonder if that's possible. Should I have Poopy Tim riding the plane? This is going to be excellent. Hopefully the plane just hasn't dropped into the ocean. Well, there's definitely no plane coming. I think Poopy Tim crashed the plane. Test number 53. Is Poopy Tim gonna be riding the plane? Let's check it out. Come on, Poopy Tim. Please, Poopy Tim, riding the plane. Oh, 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 yes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, I think he just exploded on impact. I think he really did. Did the, <laughs> did the wings go through him? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. The plane is actually hanging out the back. Wow, Poopy Tim, don't let me down, bro! Yes! Let's just have a quick look at him! Awesome! He's got a leg either side of the plane. He is riding that thing like a cowboy. He's got his arm up. He is super proud. Let's do this. Oh, take that! His head has gone! The back part of his head is just like launched all- it actually smashed into that house. I need to see this thing from the back again. It's just so amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, here it comes. Here it comes. Is it gonna come out the back? Yeah, it did. <laughs> so the back of his head just vomited like the car carriage. <laughs> the cabin of a plane? That is so intense, but very cool at the same time. I feel like there would have to be a way to maybe set up a wall so that the plane hits it and snaps the plane in half. That'd be pretty cool. Now, of course, we are back again on the Rick and Morty map. Gas Mask, the guy who actually made this map, has gone to town. The amount of detail in this map now is just crazy. It is straight up crazy. There's all sorts of things. The lounge room looks like their lounge room. There's a rug. There was a rug before. There's bedrooms. So all the stuff down here that was work in progress, yeah, it's now actual rooms with stuff. Look at this. Dad, haven't figured out the cables yet. Jerry, figure out the cables, champ. Stop being a disappointment to your family. Whose room is this one? Is this... Is this Rick's room? I think it might be. There's like, you know, those boards with like all the red lines and stuff. Like, you know, big conspiracy theorists going on. Yeah, it's definitely Rick's room. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, I've read the list of things that you can actually find in this. And it's crazy long. Apparently, there's four me-seeks to find. Four. Hidden around here somewhere. I didn't even find one last time I was playing it. But I did get stack loads of comments, right? I got so many people suggesting where the Me6 was. Someone said there's like something called Blue Boy on the shelf in here. Alright, so that's the box of time travel stuff. 
Uh, let's just get that over there. We don't need that. We've got the big metal helmet thing. I think that's what that is. I, I don't know. That's a guess. We've got the skull on the top there. We've got the goblin head thing. There's the mace. Crown. Box. The, I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. I'm not seeing anything blue. I don't think there's anything blue there. Mr. Poopy Butthole is in the pantry. Alright, we know he's there. Anything in the fridge? No. Apparently there is also a Mega Seed. So if you've seen the very first episode of Rick and Morty, there is a Mega Seed. Uh, Morty has it stuck in his bum. Um, <laughs> yep. I think, I think that's the Mega Seed. It's either a Mega Seed or a Dreidel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did find that before. Okay, we found the Mega Seed. What's going on up in this room? Whose room is this one? Is this one Summer's? I don't know what that is. Looks like a fancy painting or something. There's something on the ground that looks like a purple crap. It's like a big giant purple emoji poo. Uh, leggings! Okay, we found some leggings. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, hang on a minute! What's this? It's a plumbus! Yes! We found a plumbus! Plumbus... Everybody knows what a plumbus is and how they're made. If you don't, then you don't even know anything about Rick and Morty. Made with 100% fresh fleab juice. Is this Morty's room? I think it might be Morty's room. I think it might be Morty's room. Okay. There's a picture on the wall. There's like a trophy. I don't think Morty would have any trophies. Maybe he does. I don't know. What's this? There's a treasure chest. What's inside? My Jessica photo <laughs> collection. <laughs> cool. Alright, he's got a collection of photos of a girl he's not even dating. A little bit stalkerish, but whatever, Morty. Okay, let's go out in the back then, and we'll have a look in the ground. All right, so someone's in the last video, they left a comment, suggesting that there was something buried under Rick and Morty. Maybe there's a Meeseeks under here. Let's have a look. Maybe there's a Meeseeks box. Because apparently there is now a working Meeseeks box. If we can find that box, we can get ourselves a Meeseeks. I just broke Rick's head. I'm sorry, Rick. Um, let's just keep going. We'll just keep digging. I've got this sledgehammer. It's actually like a lightsaber, but that's fine. Okay, Morty. Is Morty in there? Morty's in there. We also break his legs off. Okay. I'm not seeing a Meeseeks box in here at all. There's just Rick's portal gun, and I can't dig any further. Mm, I'm just looking to see if there's anywhere else I can dig around here. I don't think there is. I don't think I can dig anywhere here. What about the bushes? Can we dig the bushes down? Hey! Hey! Yes! There's a Meeseeks back here! I recognize this blue dude anyway! Get out of the wall there! Ch He's stuck in the wall! How do we get him out? He's literally jammed in the wall there! Maybe we can blast him out with a shotgun. Nope. A bomb. There we go. We'll get that out of there! Are you out of there, Meeseeks? I don't think- yeah, 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 we got him out! We have bagged ourselves our first Meeseeks. That is pretty good. I'm gonna put him up against the wall here. That's one. He's actually now partly brown because we blew him up. Sorry about that, dude. Let's blow up Jerry's bee collection. I think that's probably the best thing to do with it. <laughs> nice! Um... Oh, there's bees everywhere. Anything going on in the shed? I don't think so. Just an explodey thing. Okay, we'll get the tractor out of here. Tractor works. Okay, let's go down to the lab then. We'll have a look down there, see if we can find something. Let's check them in. Oh, we're in the lab. What is that? Yes, Meeseeks box. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice, that is cool. I like that. I like how they added like the sound effect and stuff. That is really awesome. We've got two me six. Now, I don't know if that one counts as one of the four hiding ones. No, 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 because this one just says, I'm Mr. Me six, look at me. Whereas the other one said, I'm Mr. Me six, look at me. I'm hiding, I'm playing hide and seek with Jerry. Maybe there's something in the roof. Uh, let's get the sledgehammer for a minute. Have a look around here. Okay, so that doesn't even have a roof cavity. What about in this one? Oh, they don't have a roof cavity here either. I can see like straight down into the house. Oh, hold up. No, hold up. No, they actually have a roof cavity up here. All right, let's break it down. Just break the roof down. Let's do it. Hey, what's this? Hey, I found something in the roof. What is that? Let's just pull that out of there for a minute. What is this? Is that, is that a bird person? It's wearing like a, oh no, 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 no. I know where that is. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna say, right? I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna let you guys work it out in the comments. All right. I'm not saying what it is. Oh, I can see some feet. I can see some feet. It's a Meeseeks. He's in there. He's in the roof. He's hiding in the roof. Man, he's playing this hiding game so well. Found you, dude. Found you. Come on. Come out of your hiding place, champ. <laughs> well done. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. I'm playing hide and seek with Jerry. So I found two of them. There's still two more somewhere. I've got no idea where. I know what I should do, though. I should probably just blow up this house. Oh, God. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Way too much. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we completely... Completely destroyed it all. Me six, are you there anywhere, dude? I don't know where he is. I don't know where the other two are. If you guys have any idea where they might be, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.